Headaches are a common cause of absence from work or school. Migraine is the second most common cause of headache. Headaches may be mild or severe, occur frequently or once in a while, and may affect one side of the head or the entire head. Additional symptoms like a runny nose or fever may be present. A stiff neck, problems with speech, numbness, muscle weakness, nausea and vomiting could point to a serious cause of headache. Migraine is a recurring, one-sided, moderate to severe throbbing headache that worsens with movement. Additional symptoms are an increased sensitivity to light, sound or movement, nausea and vomiting. An attack is sometimes preceded by an aura where the patient sees flashing or zigzag lines or feels numbness or a tingling sensation. A headache may arise from within the head or may be due to conditions affecting the eyes, ears, nose, sinuses or teeth. Overuse of pain medications, fever, stress, high blood pressure, trigeminal neuralgia, a condition affecting one of the nerves of the head and face, also cause headache. Serious causes of headache include brain infection, stroke, a bleed in the head, glaucoma, or a brain tumor. The exact cause of migraine is not known. The brain chemicals could play a role. Migraine may have a genetic basis. Certain situations can trigger a migraine attack. For example, glare, bright lights, sound, hunger, menses in women, too less or excess sleep, and alcohol intake. Over-the-counter painkillers like acetaminophen and aspirin relieve most headaches including mild migraine, especially when administered early during the treatment. The tryptans, sumatriptan, almatriptan, elitriptan, elitriptan, frovatriptan, naratriptan, rezatriptan and zolmitriptan are used to treat migraine either alone or in addition to the above painkillers. Most headaches are mild and non-serious. In addition to the over-the-counter painkillers, adequate rest, plenty of fluids and a hot cup of tea or coffee may be just enough to get rid of it. Lifestyle changes could reduce the frequency of migraine attacks. These may include a healthy diet, regular exercise, a sleep routine with not too much or too less sleep, avoiding excess caffeine and alcohol or sudden changes in stress level. Migraine triggers vary among the sufferers. Keep a diary to identify the triggers. Some known triggers are strong smells, alcohol including beer and wine, aged cheese, fermented foods, smoked fish and cured meats. Relaxation techniques like yoga, meditation and biofeedback can help reduce the response to stress and therefore reduce the frequency of migraine headaches. Supplements like butter burr may help. Tips for caregivers, family, friends and co-workers. Frequent and persistent new headaches that do not respond to over-the-counter painkillers, especially with additional symptoms like neck pain or following a head injury, could spell a serious condition. A doctor should therefore be consulted at the earliest for such headaches. Believe the patient if he or she complains of a headache or a migraine. The headache could stop the patient from performing basic tasks at home like preparing dinner. Be patient Making the patient feel guilty for missing work or social events only adds to the suffering. Knowledge about migraine is extremely important. Make sure that the medications needed to treat an attack are available at home. Assure the patient of your availability at any time. The home environment should be suitable to prevent triggering migraine attacks. Meals and sleep timings should be regular. The patient should be encouraged to drink adequate water. Known triggers should be avoided at home. People with attacks may require to rest in dark and quiet rooms. Keep dark glasses or shades handy. Cool compresses may be applied to the head if necessary. Keep adequate drinking water available. If the vision is affected, the patient may require help to take medications or move around. Leave the patient alone in case he or she would not like to be disturbed. Contact the doctor if the medications do not work.